Hello, my name is Patrick Dowden. I'm with Automation Southwest. Uh, what we're going to do today is run through a machine vision application we put together for Cardamundi. Uh, we're working with Dave Spence, the maintenance manager of the plant. Uh, out at the Cardamundi plant, there is some existing machine vision technology. Uh, what we're going to run through here is the DataLogic PPT Vision Impact Software. Uh, and we're going to try to make a few uh, uh, pointers of how this software works uh, and let you guys uh, at Cardamundi uh, have a comparison between what we have here and what you're using today. Uh, the software that's on the screen right now is the Vision Program Manager half of the Impact software. Uh, we're running in an emulator mode, but the image you see here, like this 8 for instance, and I can click through a few others, uh, these are images that we captured with an actual A20 camera when I was out at the plant floor. Um, on a few of the images, what you'll see is the border around has been cut down. We actually used a pair of scissors to uh, do that intentionally so we could uh, introduce some failed images uh, for purposes of the demonstration here. Um, our software is a drag and drop type of software. Uh, there's a toolbox column on the left. Uh, within here, uh, you'll find graphical uh, tools that can be dragged into the program. Uh, the program is basically this image and task column. Um, for this application, uh, it was a very, very simple analysis. Uh, we used an, uh, an origin tool uh, that lets us uh, adjust the position of our tools. Uh, if the uh, subject of an inspection isn't perfect, if it bounces around a little in the field of view, uh, this lets us move our tools uh, in relation to where the uh, card is detected in the field of view. Uh, then we used a couple of line gauge tools. Uh, basically, these um, measure the the length of a line. In this case, what we're looking at is the thickness of a white border uh, on the top of the card and again on the, the side of the card. And the thickness of that border determines the quality of the printing. Uh, as long as it stays within a tolerance band, we're going to pass it. If it gets outside of that tolerance band, we're going to fail. Uh, the only other tool that was really relevant is the pass-fail. Uh, what this did is it took the, the pass-fail um, result of the origin tool, the line gauge top, and the line gauge side, and summarized it into an overall pass fail for each card. Uh, there are a couple of basic tools on here. Uh, I wrote those in to just add a little um, uh, cosmetic uh, uh, feature to the control panel managers part of the software, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, that's the operator interface half of the software uh, that is included in the impact overall software. Uh, so what I'll do here I'll let the machine, uh, I'll put the emulator in run mode, and we'll click through a few images. Uh, as we go from image to image, you'll see a few of these turn red in the line gauge. Uh, and what that's going to indicate is we found a card that was outside of the tolerance. So uh, a better way to de demonstrate this is to go over to the control panel manager and uh, take a look at what we have here. Uh, the first thing you might notice is in the control panel manager, I'll go ahead and put it online you'll see this is oriented the opposite. This is 90 degrees off of what was in there. Uh, for, for purposes of just cosmetic display, that's a checkbox. I can turn things 90 degrees up or 90 degrees back or 180 degrees if I want to for purposes of uh, the angle of the camera versus the uh, presentation of the information to the operator. Um, overall, what's on the screen here uh, are the results of the tools in the image and task. Um, structurally, what we have here is the machine vision program from VPM, from the vision program manager, is displayed right here. This is the actual program from the other half of the software, and we use this program to drag and drop image uh, elements over into the graphical part of the screen, and we tie things back with uh, uh, some data uh, sets and, and uh, gets. Uh, so if I put it back in run mode, uh, one of the major parts of this inspection is tolerance. Uh, we're going to pass or fail based on the, the, the width of the band on the side and the width of the band on the top. Um, this set of tools is the, the pass band, if you will, for the top border. So right now, um, um, we're expecting it to be approximately 0.1685. That would be an ideal card. And I just measured that with calipers and, and plugged that value in. Uh, and then we're going to allow anything that's... Uh, Minus, 162, or minus 0.0625 or plus 0.0625, uh, 
And those little areas where you saw me write the, the little snippets of basic code, that's where these values are coming from. So if I come into the minus value and I increase it, not only am I increasing the tolerance band here, I'm, I'm allowing more minus uh, to pass through. Uh, this, is actual, this is the actual raw data. This is the engineering value in inches. Um, I did a conversion in the uh, Vision Program Manager of pixels to inches, so everything we're seeing on here is actually displayed in inches. Um, so for purposes of pass-fail, as these images click by, you're able to determine the length of this arrow, if it's long, if it's short, if it's outside the value of the uh, tolerance band, then that individual tool will fail, which will lead to the overall fail in the top corner here. Uh, so I guess in summary, I would say we have a very strong machine vision application. Uh, we were able to put together a nice little uh, operator interface uh, in, a, in, a, in a relatively few minutes. Uh, we're able to display the actual values of each tool on the screen. Uh, if we were able to uh, invest a little bit more time, we could do things such as store failed images uh, and display the last few fails, and that sort of thing is very common. Uh, but overall, I would say we have a very nice uh, working machine vision application. Uh, again, my name is Patrick Dowden. I'm with Automation Southwest. Uh, if you have any questions on this application, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, our website is automationsouthwest.com. Uh, or you can reach us at our office, 214-901-7677. Thanks very much for your time.